I'm Travis Oscarson here at Edwards Valencia. Happy New Year to everyone. We're kicking off 2013 with Gangster Squad. Now this one has a huge ensemble cast, but are the fans gonna like the movie? We're gonna find out for you right now. This is Fan Reviews. War against Mickey Cohen. Well, I'm looking to put a squad together. What's that? A small squad. Five, maybe six guys. I want to talk some gangster squad. Now, not getting the best reviews ever from critics. I thought the trailer looked really cool, though. What did you think? I liked it. I thought it was really good. I thought it was great. I think there was a few parts in it that are actually a little bit cheesy, a little bit too over the top. I actually thought it was really well done. There's a lot of action. For someone who doesn't like blood, it was good. I love Ruben Fletcher. Zombieland was one of my favorites the year it came out. How does he do on the gangster kind of movie? Definitely got some points in the gangster genre now. I love the old school uh, gangster type movies. Uh, it was a good plot. Uh, was really realistic. I'd actually put it on par with the Untouchables. I liked it. I think that they um, they really nailed the kind of the essence of the 50s and stuff. Ryan Gosling was actually really good in it. Are you weak in the knees yet? Be honest. Did you just come to see it for Ryan Gosling? Um, I wouldn't say. <laughs> he is literally the coolest man on the planet. I think he took that away from George Clooney. How is he here? He's the star of the movie. His performance. You can't beat it. I thought it was really smooth, you know. Yeah. It was a real smooth type of gang. I, I loved it. I heard he was doing something a little funky with his voice. He what? It was kind of weird. He sounded really feminine. You wanted to talk to me? But it, I think it fit his character. Was it weird at all? No, not for me. I guess not. I was really paying attention to the character, not the voice. We can't forget my future wife, Emma Stone. <laughs> sure I am. She did great. She was good eye candy, but uh, I think she had a legit part in it. Hot. My future wife. Really? Yeah. No, We're I in competition. You want to take me away from all this and make an honest woman out of me? She didn't have that many lines, really. She just kind of stood there and kind of... Looked sultry. Yeah, exactly. For those of you thinking she was just going to be eye candy, she's actually a very important part of the story. She's a good character. Great cast, too. The cast is amazing. I, I like uh, Sean Penn playing Mickey Cohen. Pure evil. Did he go too far over the edge in this character? No, not at all. I thought he played it perfectly. He's actually really, really good. I was surprised. He did really good. He was a total badass. He could be a gangster. Does he go too far over the top with the role? I don't think there's such a thing when you're playing a gang uh, 50s gangster. Sometimes his acting was a little little shaky, you know? He's done it. Um, but for the most part, it was pretty good. Put him down. Some people are going to be reading some of the negative reviews, say they don't want to go out and see it. What, what advice do you have? Don't believe them, see it yourself. If you love old school gangster type movies, it's a must go. Good moral to the story. I would say definitely go. It's very entertaining. And it's a good love story too. The trailer definitely had some of the best parts in it, but um, overall I'd still see it again. So you liked it, but you didn't love it? Yeah. You heard what the fans had to say about Gangster Squad? Now I challenge you to be the critic. I want to thank our friends at Regal Entertainment Group for having us. And be sure to go to fanreviews.com for all the best in movies. You're going to be begging for a bullet before it's over. Ah!